Hello guys, welcome back to C Box Tutorial Channel, and this is our situation number 68 for C Board Exam November 2022. But before we start to solve this problem, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. A simply supported beam has the following properties: the yung ating area, yung ating width okay, for the plunge, then thickness ng web, overall depth na 465 millimeters and thickness ng flange na 19 millimeters. Then given na rin yung ating moment of inertia with respect to x-axis, then yield stress which is equivalent to 248 megapascal and the allowable flexural stress or bending stress na 163 megapascal. So siguro ang maganda rito is i-drawing natin yung section. Okay. Then, yung BF natin is equivalent to 193. Then, yung D is equivalent to 465. Thickness ng web is 11. Then, thickness ng flange is 19 millimeters. So, wide plunge yung ating section. So, number one, calculate the moment capacity of the beam. In kilonewton, meters. So, meron naman tayong bending stress dito, eh. So, dyan na natin kunin yung ating moment capacity. So, number one, bending stress is equivalent to M multiplied by C over I and A. So, ang neutral axis kasi natin is nasa gitna. So, let's say, yung ating neutral axis is dun rin nakalocate yung ating x-axis. So, yun yung tinutukoy niya eh, na I, X, T. So, sabihin na natin I and A to. Yan. So, ang ating M is equivalent to F, B. Oops. Lagat yun dito. Or bending stress multiplied by I and A. Then, over C. Ang C natin ay kalahati ng 465. Ganyan. 465 divided by 2 is 232.5 millimeters. So, masasolve natin yung ating M. Bending stress na 163 megapascal. Ang ating INA is ilan ba yan? 4.36 times 10 raised to 8. Then over C, na equivalent sa 232.5 millimeters. Then ang makukuha natin dito ay newton per uh, newton millimeter. Divide natin ng 1000 squared para maging kilonewton meter. So ang sagot ay 305.67 kilonewton meter. Number 2. To strengthen the beam, 150mm wide and 12mm thick cover plate is added both at the top flange and at the bottom flange. Compute the resulting moment capacity of the section. So, ang mangyayari dito, magadagdag tayo ng plate sa top and bottom flange. So, ito yung ating plate. Uh, siguro ibang kulay na lang na no? para madaling makansin so, 150 yan 150 tanggalin na natin itong dimension alam naman na natin yung mga dimensions nila yan. and then ang thickness nya ay 12 millimeters so tikabila yan so itong topic na to medyo madali lang actually kapareha sya ng problem number 66 Ang pinagkaiba nga lang nila, yung 66, kung concrete, yes, concrete beam siya, tapos binubutas lang natin siya. Kaya hindi masyadong mahirap isolve. Ganito rin yung ating 68. Bakal yung ating section, then dinadagdagan lang natin siya ng another bakal na uh, section. Pero, meron kasing special topic, and actually hindi siya special topic eh, talagang specific topic siya sa steel design na tinatawag na composite beam. Ano yun? Yung una, yung ating white flange spackle, then, meron siyang i-carry dito na slab. 
na made of concrete. Of course, yan. Concrete siya. So, dito kailangan muna natin ng modular. Nakalimutan ko ng term. Modular ratio ata. Yun yung N. Yung modular ratio. Which is equivalent to EC over ES yata. Ayan. Then, kailangan natin kasing i-convert uh, yung ating concrete to bakal. Para magtugma yung ating material. Then, pwede natin silang i-treat as a single material or parang ano, yeah, single uh, member na iisa lamang yung material or parang homogenous yung material niya. Ganun ang ginagawa natin doon. Ito wala naman siyang problema kasi or hindi natin kailangan gumamit pa ng modular ratio or kung anong tawag dyan, nakalimutan ko na. Kasi parehas lang namang bakal yung plate saka yung ating white planche. Kaya ang gagawin lang natin dito is kagaya ng number 66, Kukun lang natin yung ating neutral axis. So, pagkasamahin lang naman natin siya. So, I and A is equivalent to IX. Ano ba ang IX natin? 4.36 times 10 raised to 3. Ah, sorry. Raised to 8. Then, idagdag natin yung moment of inertia ng ating plate. So, yung plate natin dito is tapag pala ginawa lang natin talagang black. <laughs> Ayan. Yung ating plate dito Uh, since yung kanyang centroids ay wala sa ating x-axis, ibig sabihin kailangan ating mag-undergo ng transfer formula. So, ano ba ang transfer formula? Ix bar, then plus area, then d squared. So, Ix bar niya, ano ba ang uh, moment of inertia with respect to its centroids ng ating rectangular shape? That is bh cube over 12. So, ang base niya ay 150, ang height niya ay 12. Then, cube over 12. Then, anong area niya? 150 multiplied by 12. Ano ang D? Ang D is yung distance ng ating centroids papunta sa ating axis na pinapukunan nung moment of inertia, which is yung neutral axis na nakalocate lang din sa ating x axis. So, this is what? Kalahati ng 465 is 232.5. Then, plus kalahati ng 12. Then yun. So, 232.5 then plus kalahati ng 12 is 6, di ba? So, this is 238. 238.5 squared. Tapos, i-multiply natin ng 2. Bakit 2? Kasi top and bottom flange ang meron na or merong plate. Okay? So, this is our INA. 4.36 times 10 raised to 8 plus 150 times 12 cube over 12. Then plus 150 times 12 area times 238.5 squared. Then multiplied by 2. So 640.82. Or siguro... Okay, magaganto kasi yan eh. Sige, okay na yan. So, 640.82. Then, times 10, raised to 6, millimeter to the fourth. So, makukuha na natin ngayon yung ating M2. So, FB, 163 times INA na 640.82 times 10, raised to 6 over C, 232.5. Oh, wait lang. Kasi nadagdagan na siya eh. So, ang ating C ngayon is hindi na 232.5. Yung ating C ngayon is equivalent to 232.5 then plus yung thickness ng ating plate which is 12. Kaya ilan to? 244, no? 244.5 millimeters. So, 244.5. Okay. Ay, wait lang. Bakit? Ah, okay. So, tama lang. Ayan. Oops. Divided by 1,000 squared. So, 427.21. 427. Okay? 427.21. So, possible pa tayo magkamali kanina, no? So, kung sakali man na nakalimun natin yung 12 uh, millimeters, ano kayo makukuha ang sagot? 232. Hmm, medyo malayo, oh. 427 yung nakuha natin tamang sagot. Ang nakalagay rito is 449. So, possible... 
kung si Ma'am Prax talagang ano, 'di ba? Gumawa ng exam ito, medyo mayyari kayo kasi possible na maiisip niya na makakalimutan niyo rin yung 12 mm. Tapos gaya nung nangyari sa akin, nakalimutan ko nung una, 'di ba? Bigla ko lang naalala kasi select ko yung ano, yung C dito. Ito kasi is ano eh, yung ating D. Yung D ito eh. Yan, yung ating si kanina is hanggang dito lang. Kaya bigla naalala ko, ayun ano, kailangan kasama rin yung 12 mm doon. Kaya dapat ang tamang sagot ay 427.21 kilo newton meter. Yan. Then, problem number 3. The beam is to carry 480 kilo newton meter. So, meron tayong given a moment. Then, cover plates at the top of the plunge and at the bottom of the plunge are to be added to strengthen the section. Using a 10 mm thick cover plate, calculate the required width of the cover plate. So, unknown yung ating ano, width para sa plate, pero meron namang given na thickness. So, saan ba natin ginamit yung, yung mga dimensions na to? Doon sa pagkuha natin ng INA. So, ibig sabihin, kunin natin yung ating moment of inertia based on our bending stress. Then, kakuha natin to sa ating kunin yung moment of inertia ng buong section para makuha natin yung width ng ating plate. So, INA is equivalent to moment na given then multiplied by C over bending stress. Okay. So, ang given na moment is 480. Convert natin ng Newton millimeter. Then, multiplied by C. Okay, meron naman tayong thickness of 10. So, that is 232.5. So, then plus 10. That is 242.5. Over FB, 163. So, ito yung ating moment of inertia. 714.11. Times 10, ratio 6, millimeter to the fourth. Tapos, saka natin uh, kunin yung equation para sa ating... Uh, moment of inertia ng buong section. Actually, pwede natin kunin ito eh. Ito lang oh. Ang gagawin kasi natin is ma-minus natin ito. Doon sa ating overall moment of inertia. Para makuha yung moment of inertia ng plate. Ayan. 714.11 times 10 raised to 6. Then minus natin ito. 4.38. At 36 pala. Times 10 raised to 8. The moment of inertia... Of the plate. So, 278.11 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the port. So, ano ba yung moment of inertia ng ating plate? Gagamit tayo, of course, ng transfer formula. So, yung ating width multiplied by height na 10 over 12, then plus area width multiplied by 10 multiplied by uh, distance ng ating center is papunta kay mga uh, neutral axis that is 232 plus 10 over 2 237.5 then squared and of course multiplied by, by 2 to kasi dalawa yung ating plate so multiplied by 2 so, pwede na tayong mag, ano dyan, mag, oh, dito, shift solve. So, W is X multiplied by 10 raised to 3 over 12 plus W multiplied by 10, ah, sorry, ah, tama, tama, 10 pala, ano, so 10. Multiplied by 2, 4, ah, yes, 237, 237.5 squared, multiplied by 2. So, ito yung ating base or width, 246.49. The width is equivalent to 246.49 millimeters. So, siguro sa ating, uh, ano, pamimili, ang pinakamalapit dito is yung 250. Saka, in terms of design, o oh, eksakto, 246.49 talaga. Pero, syempre, kapag actual na, na gagawin natin yung plate, ay eh, mahirap sukatin yung 246.49, hindi ba? Kaya, imbis na ang ibigay natin ay 246.49 or 247, 248, 249, eh, then, ibigay natin sa mismong gagawa ng plate at mag-install ng plate is 200, 
50. Kaya ang pinaka-convenient na sukat talaga rito is 250 millimeters. And hindi tayo pwedeng bumaba ha? Kasi ito yung ano eh, required. Yan yung required na plate para dalhin yung moment na 480 kN. Kaya kung ibababa natin yan, ang marireceive niya na strength ay mas mababa sa 480 kN. Kaya, ay hindi. Tawag ito? Ah, yes, yes. Mas mababa. So, ibig sabihin, mas mahina siya kapag ganun. Kaya, dapat, uh, round up tayo kapag sukat ang pinag-uusapan natin. Then, round down naman kapag strength ang pinag-uusapan. Okay? So, yan. Ganyan lang kasimple yung ating situation number 68. for seaboard exam November 2022. So, sana marami kayo natutunan sa aming uh, pag-solve ng problem na to. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you everyone! God bless. Bye-bye.